Have you ever wondered how to build a successful startup from scratch? Today we delve into the first chapter of The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. In the world of startups, having a clear vision is as essential as the air we breathe. It's the foundation upon which your business is built. Imagine your vision as a compass, guiding you through the tumultuous journey that lies ahead. It's about setting achievable goals that align with the mission of your startup. But what's a mission, you may ask? It's the purpose that fuels your startup, the reason for its existence. It's what you're passionate about, what you want to change in the world. But a vision isn't just about you or your startup. It's about understanding the needs of your potential customers. It's about solving a problem, filling a gap, and making a difference in their lives. After all, your customers are the heart of your startup. Remember, a clear vision is the roadmap to success. How would you define your startup's product or service? This may seem like a simple question, but the answer is the backbone of your startup. It's the foundation upon which your entire operation is built. It's paramount to have a crystal clear definition of your product or service. But how do you go about defining it? Start by creating a compelling value proposition. This is a straightforward statement that outlines the unique value your product or service provides. It's the reason why customers should choose you over your competitors. To craft an effective value proposition, you need to understand your target market, identify the problem you're solving, and communicate how your solution is better than the alternatives. And remember, differentiation is essential. In a world saturated with products and services, standing out from the crowd can be your golden ticket to success. A well-defined product or service is the cornerstone of any successful startup. Are you open to learning and adapting your strategies for your startup? In the world of entrepreneurship, your capacity to learn is as crucial as your original idea. You see, building a startup isn't about getting it right the first time. It's about being open to the fact that your first idea might not be the best one. Mistakes will happen, and that's okay. What matters is what you do with those mistakes. Do you sweep them under the rug, or do you learn from them? Every stumble is a chance to learn, a chance to improve, and then there's customer feedback, a gold mine of learning. Your customers are the ones using your product or service. They can provide invaluable insights that can shape your business strategies. So, how adaptable are you? Can you pivot your strategies based on what you've learned? Never stop learning, for continuous learning leads to continuous improvement. Are you ready to take the leap and launch your startup? The decision to start a business is a leap of faith, a jump into the unknown, often filled with risks and uncertainties. But here's the thing about leaps of faith. They're not blind jumps, but calculated risks. The Lean Startup encourages us to mitigate these risks with thorough preparation and flexible strategies. Imagine your startup journey as a long jump. The run-up is your preparation phase, where you gather momentum and strategize. The leap itself is the launch, the moment you take your idea to the world. The landing, that's your ability to bounce back from challenges and setbacks, a testament to your resilience. Remember, every successful leap is backed by meticulous planning. Anticipate potential problems, create contingency plans, and always be ready to adapt. Resilience is your safety net. It's what will help you recover, learn, and continue moving forward even when things don't go as planned. Taking the leap might be scary, but with proper planning and resilience, the rewards can be immense. How can you ensure your startup's product or service meets the market's needs? Well, the answer lies in the rigorous application of testing. In the world of lean startups, testing is the compass that guides us through the turbulent seas of uncertainty. In this chapter, Eric Ries emphasizes the importance of designing and executing effective tests. He urges us to think of testing as a tool rather than a hurdle. It's a tool that provides us with invaluable insights into how our product or service is perceived by potential users or customers. But it's not just about conducting tests. It's equally vital to interpret the results correctly, to draw meaningful conclusions from the data. And once we've gleaned these insights, we can then use them to refine our offering, to make it more attuned to the market's needs. Remember, testing is not a one-time event, but a continuous process that can significantly enhance your startup's chances of success. Do you know how to scale your startup efficiently and effectively? This question takes us into the sixth chapter of the Accelerate section in Eric Reese's book, The Lean Startup, which focuses on the concept of batching. In the world of startups, batching refers to the process of grouping similar tasks together to improve operational efficiency. It's like making cookies. Instead of baking one cookie at a time, you bake a whole batch. 
This saves time and energy and you end up with a lot more cookies. Implementing batching in your operations can have profound effects. It not only streamlines processes but also reduces waste, increases productivity, and ultimately, boosts profits. You might be wondering, how does this help scale a startup? Well, when you're able to do more with less, less time, less resources, you're naturally in a better position to grow. So remember, batching is a powerful strategy to accelerate your startup's growth. How can you keep your startup innovative and ahead of the curve? A question that keeps many entrepreneurs awake at night. Well, Eric Ries in his book The Lean Startup gives us a roadmap to follow. Innovation is the lifeblood of a startup. It's about thinking differently, challenging the status quo, and not being afraid to pivot when the market demands it. But how can we foster this innovative spirit? Start by creating a culture where ideas are valued, where failure is seen as a stepping stone, and where continuous learning is the norm. Remember, innovation is not a one-time event. It's a process, a mindset that needs to be nurtured and cultivated. Embed this mindset into your startup's DNA, and you'll find yourself adapting and evolving with the market's ebbs and flows. And remember, innovation is not just about creating new products, it's about reinventing your startup in response to market changes. So what have we learned from Eric Reese's The Lean Startup? Quite a bit, as it turns out. From the importance of vision to the power of innovation, this book offers a treasure trove of insights for anyone looking to create a successful startup. In the first section vision, we learned about the importance of having a clear direction. From the starting point, it's crucial to define your vision, learn from your environment, and experiment with different approaches. A startup without a vision is like a ship without a rudder, aimlessly drifting in the sea of business. Then we moved on to the second part, steer. Here, we found out the value of taking a leap of faith, testing your assumptions, measuring your results, and deciding whether to pivot or persevere. Like a skilled sailor adjusting his sails to the changing winds, a successful entrepreneur knows how to steer his business through the unpredictable waters of the market. Lastly, in the Accelerate section, we discovered the importance of batching tasks for efficiency, growing your startup sustainably, adapting to changes, and constantly innovating. A startup that can accelerate its growth while maintaining its agility is like a well-oiled machine ready to seize every opportunity that comes its way. So let's revisit the three key accountability lessons we've learned. First, take responsibility for defining your vision and steering your startup in the right direction. Second, be accountable for your results, no matter how small or big they are. And third, hold yourself answerable for the growth and innovation of your startup. And now, the three leadership takeaways. First, lead with vision and purpose. Second, lead with courage, ready to take risks and make hard decisions. And third, lead with resilience, ready to adapt and innovate in the face of challenges. In conclusion, The Lean Startup is not just a book, it's a roadmap for entrepreneurial success. It teaches us that the journey of entrepreneurship is not a straight line. It's a winding path filled with twists and turns, highs and lows, but armed with the right strategies and a lean mindset every challenge can turn into an opportunity for growth. Remember, the journey of entrepreneurship is not a straight line, but with the right strategies, every challenge can turn into an opportunity for growth.